When were you going to tell me about Octagon? Octagon. We need some me, you time. We need some quality time together. I'm glad we're doing this. Dating? We're married. Hi. Guess who I bumped into today? Hey! Who the hell am I speaking to? This is a courtroom. You are the accused. I am judge and jury. There should be someone we can talk to. Ahmed Sinari confessed to the murder. I know someone who can. He's an ex-military man, now a private investigator, who won't really like to see me. What did you do when I messed up and needed you to be there? I might have my back to the wall, but that don't mean I am foolish. I'm gonna count to three. One. Now, touch the bag. You're not the only one being blackmailed here. Clem. Everything is falling apart, Mom. You had a threesome? You're making a mistake, Julia. The same mistake many people make. It takes more than love to make a marriage work. Hey guys, welcome to yet another edition with the Consult team. My name is Chacha Wabara, and I'm so glad to have you here. If this is your first time here, what we do are movie reviews, right? And we give you a little bit of trailers to show you what you should be expecting in the cinemas. If that's what you're looking for, please sit back and um, do this with me, right? And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and um, turn up your post notifications so that, of course, you'll be alerted when a new video comes up. Our returning subscribers and um, viewers, oh my goodness, I appreciate you. I love you so much. And thank you so much for doing this with me once again. Okay, so today we'll be reviewing the movie Sin City. Um, I actually watched it on Netflix, okay? It's a 2019 movie produced by Yvonne... Um, Nelson. Now this movie is a collaboration between Hollywood and Gollywood. That's not what they call Ghanaian movie industry. Gollywood, right? I hope I have it right. Starring Ivan Nelson, Kunle Remy, and Rose, Rosie More. I hope I pronounced it properly. Now this movie um, is set, I think the location was in Ghana. A couple, a young couple is a lawyer and then the wife um, is a housewife. So. Kule, Remy, and Yvonne Nelson are married. Now, the wife, which is um, Yvonne Nelson, is looking to spice up her marriage and kind of like says her husband is overworking himself, is not always at home, and does not give her enough time. So they need time. She needs time. She needs time. She needs to spend some time with him. And um, they need to work on their marriage. It's just um, a, a vacation. You know, and she does all the arrangements. This couple, they go on a vacation, looking to have some fun and relax. Um, Kunle Remy in this movie, a driven, um, hard-working guy who is really, really serious and successful with, um, in his um, career. And looking, a really ambitious guy as well. So he's looking to grow and he loves the challenges of his work, nothing else. So in order to please his wife, he goes with his wife. They go on this vacation that turns out to be the worst nightmare of their lives. Now, the process of, um, I don't know, having fun and all that, they meet this girl who, the manager of the, of the, of the resort or the hotel, who you know, directs them to this um, underground strip club. They didn't know it was a strip club anyway, underground club where they could chill and all that. So they went in there, what they saw was a strip club. You know, along the line, they let themselves be um, convinced to play with, you know, to play there. Drink and all that and um, find themselves back in their room where they had came, you know, this threesome with an unknown person who they met um, in the hotel. They just went ahead and had a threesome with her, which resulted into hell to pay so while thinking that oh my goodness we had fun we you know spiced up the marriage again they went home went back to their city and then found out that they were now being blackmailed okay now this blackmail took um lots of twists and turns and um you know how blackmails are blackmails are never you know they're never just straightforward they're always messy so which brings me to the review now, 
I really do not understand um, some things in the movie. For the cinematography, the lighting was just there. Modred was just okay. We're just there. Sound, just there. The annoying thing that I saw there was uh, the first time, I, yeah, they actually met her. The first time they saw Rosie was in the elevator. I don't know. I don't know how they positioned the camera in the elevator. It was like they just took all the surveillance cameras, right? And just fixed somewhere. And it didn't make sense because it was just what we were just seeing there was just their heads, just the top of their heads. <laughs> it was so funny. You just you, you there was they shouldn't even have added you know included that you know elevator scene because it made no sense well what are we watching we're just watching the top of the heads of you know the three people in the elevator so it didn't make sense right and then the lighting wasn't wonderful you just know who the you know who the characters are and you know but it's not wasn't perfect it wasn't a great a production so to say even Nelson did not really do wonderful in the movie because she's the producer. She didn't do wonderful in the movie. And um, coming, you know, after this long a time in the movie industry, one should expect or, you know, expect certain, you know, things not to be done. Okay, let's just say now this is a 2019 movie. And um, okay, that was then. No, as a 2019, late 2019, for crying out loud, you should be able to know what you're doing. The pictures that they used for the blackmailing was perfect, was wonderful, okay? They really did it properly. I, uh, well, to, <laughs> they really did it properly. In trying to solve the, the mystery behind the blackmail, they, of course, went the Niger way. I don't know why, why, I don't know, I don't know. There are some things we shouldn't do. If they're actors and actresses, even if you're giving a script to act out something, there are some things that when you look at it, you'll be like, come, you see, you see, we've gone way beyond this. I, I can't see myself acting out this you know uh, clause or this particular scene like this why don't we do it like that you know i don't know don't people do that you know because at some point in the movie um, a so-called sister a so-called auntie um even nelson's mom's sister came and she just sat down like that and she just mentioned one thing and just mentioned one thing hey, all those things all those things what is going on why would you be doing that at this time at this level it was so annoying i just like oh my goodness you guys have started again you know because it didn't make sense at all okay i liked how they kept on they tried you know the characters were looking satisfactorily confused in the movie especially the victims of the blackmail you know trying to find out who was actually behind the blackmail okay that part was good that part was wonderful they tried but in trying the at the end of the movie what was that how did you call how did you call the police how did you call this and then you just resolved the matter the the film just ended there and casting started and of course it was the end of the movie so for me it was it wasn't it wasn't wasn't nice they had a wonderful plot a wonderful story the script writer would have did well apart from those things that i said but it should have ended better they should have done it in a better way what was all that that's so as that way 2009 you know not 19. so i don't even know I, I, for me it wasn't wonderful i'm even shocked that i saw that kind of movie on netflix and i actually spent money watching that movie Okay, only thing that made me, you know, see through the end was just the suspense. I wanted to know who actually was the blackmailer, who actually, you know, was um, the person that uh, was behind all the nightmare, which they successfully did. Number one, I, 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 I didn't understand how the of that mystery just ended it like that. The explanation was just rubbish. Then um, the addition of um, of uh, Kunle Remy's friend, um, his colleague in the office, you know, it just they just messed it up at the end of the movie, and I didn't like it. Just messed up the hard work. Apart from those, you know, hitch that I had. So for me, it was a waste of my money. It was really a waste of my money. So which brings um, the movie review to an end. If this is your first time here, please hit on the subscribe button. Uh, turn up your post notifications so that you'll be alerted when a new video comes up and i'll see you next time thank you so much for watching bye